Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforestmagicwave.com uh, making this a small video for you to um, for general audience um, just to show uh, how we're doing and uh, the last week especially uh, not a very good time of trading uh, even though uh, you know, because uh, June, July they are very very slow months and on top of that we have the situation in Greece which is very uncertain what will happen no one knows and the market is especially euro usd is just bouncing up and down and becomes very dangerous but when all of these things happening uh, in one particular currency the other currencies give you some really good opportunities where the, especially euro is not involved uh, so you can take advantage of that and that's what we did this week and uh, let me show you a few things real fast uh, first chart I'm going to show you this. This is a, a pound Aussie, and with the pound Aussie, let me show you this chart here. That uh, it, you know, this is uh, back in May, even before that. From right from here, my targets are these. This is what I made the chart long time ago. I don't don't want to go that that far back, but you can see this uh, was in May, made in like 11th May, and the first target was this. And after taking this out, then we will go further. To the upsides, obviously, all we look for longs in this setup. Uh, every dip, every re retracement, correction, and then you know move on to the upside again. So let me show you real quick what happened is that the July first, uh, uh, among a lot of different setups, this was uh, not the butterfly actually. I wrote it wrong here. It's supposed to be uh, a crab pattern because this B point is at 61 percent. So it was a crab pattern in the making. This is how my creative uh, trading is, that uh, I don't wait for these harmonic patterns to finish. I trade them while they are in cooking. So uh, the end point was here, 161.8%, right, uh, 0761. So that was my target at this time. And then we got it you know, nice and clean. This is uh, uh, my one of my trades uh, going up the upside. And uh, oh, this is, by the way, this is uh, uh, using my Magic IB system in uh, uh, trade station. These candles. Uh, okay, so see how far uh, we went up there. We went and we poked into the level nice and clean. We even went up further because uh, I just showed you my long term target is way above that. So this doesn't matter if this is a pattern, it will just continue, you know, to go to the upside. So we, we went up higher and then we dropped and this was uh, from here to here was 300 plus pip, you know, easy, right? And then it made the dip again and this was a setup on 9th July. See, this is the beauty if you know on a higher time frame that you are going up like a thousand people or whatever. So every two, you know, uh, every shot, every day you can take uh, if the range is too much for this pair, this Aussie, pound Aussie, range is 200 plus, you know. <laughs> Every day, it, it you know make 200 pip move more than that. So every time you it make a move, you make your profit, you get out, and then you wait for the correction the next day or the you know in the evening uh, agent session, and then you get another setup to go. So this was on the ninth, and nice and clean setup, and this is what happened to that. Again, 300 pip move to the upside. So you see, uh, every time a dip, if you have a setup, if you know how to to look like the setup and you know how to find them and, you know it's very easy and this is what I teach in my webinars as well. so if you want to learn you don't know, be a part of it so okay this is pound Aussie so that's what happened to that uh, another thing was um, oh pound um, yen okay uh, I'm not gonna go back on this one too far you know it's just what's happening it uh, the bottom line is that it is also uh, in the uptrend and every dip you look for uh, the long setups so this is uh, this was a dip here and my target was there before that before this dip i was hoping that we will just jump and then go up here and then drop but uh, euro thing uh, greece thing uh, came in the way and then boom it dropped but this was on the 8th july let's see if 8498 holds it did and we went to the upside but where is it see this one is almost 500 pip move okay this is the 500 pip move from there in two days from eight to this yes. 
from here okay so from here we went this I have I opened two charts hmm. okay anyway so 500 pip uh, on this one this setup gave us right um, another one a well, good one is the USD yen again the ninth actually on the eighth I missed it it was there and I saw it and I mentioned in the webinar that it is touching 78.6 percent and it was around 120 30 30 40 uh, 100 you know 120 point probably 30 40 area but I did I couldn't make the chart I forgot and the next day I made when it, it's already up 100 pip but from even from here it went up and gave us 150 pip move to the upside so far actually because it's keep going why it is keep going uh, pound yen and uh, USD yen they both jump is they both have something in common yen pound yen USD yen right and um, they're both going up so that means yen must be getting weaker and that's what what I had already and I showed it into my webinar and all that that this was like uh, yen index chart I made on the 8th and I explained that if this hold here and then start going up then our pound yen will uh, you know prevail and uh, USD yen and all those yen pairs will be going up so we had two good setups on uh, USD yen pound yen enough you know one is 150 pip the other one is 500 pip out of 500 if you get only 100 pip 150 pip 200 pip is more than enough for the whole week right for some people it's just you know everything <laughs> so <clears throat> uh, this is how it is uh, knowing the index, uh, I have the charts uh, on pound index, which uh, is not open, so I'm not going to show. Uh, pound index is uh, exactly going the way we want it, and uh, uh, other uh, indexes and also other uh, setups in other pairs. Uh, Euro Aussie is uh, nicely set up right now for the next week. Uh, let's see what the decision comes in. And if I'm thinking what I'm thinking, it's probably going to you know, give us around maybe easy four or 500 pips. So this is it for now, and uh, this is how it is. Again, my uh, best trade of the week was this one. Pound yen went up straight 500 pip. Okay, so this is it for now. If you uh, like what you see, if you want to learn all this mumbo jumbo and uh, get these before chart in your email and attend my webinar where I explain how I make it so that in the future you become expert on your own and you can do and, and find these setups on your own uh, because uh, life is short I don't know when uh, I'm gonna have to leave this world right so uh, if I teach people if they learn uh, they can you know, be trading on their own okay. you don't need anybody else after that so this is it for now uh, again if you want you can go on my website and subscribe it's nothing it's fifty dollar a month which is peanuts uh, you make five hundred uh, 500 pips with one standard lot. Uh, I don't want to say it. You can do the calculation <laughs> in just two days. You know what I'm saying? So if you learn this, it's a lot of, a lot of money to learn. All right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.